Hey guys, welcome back to another round of Cyborg Gaming. Today, I am going to go through the bank heart piece, uh, which for me will be one of the last heart pieces. I just need to go over to Iconic Canyon and a graveyard and grab, uh, I think there's like four over there, um, and then four more on the moon. Um, so in this one, you can see I have about 300 rupees. Um, I need to get 5,000 deposited in the bank to get this heart piece. So I am going to do that right now. I have 4,900 in the bank right now. So it's not how many you've deposited like overall. It's how many you have actually like saved in the bank. Okay, that's good enough. So at this point, you should be pretty happy with me. You can see I'm over 5,000. He should give you that prompt right there saying 5,000 rupees. Instead of accruing any interest or anything like that, we are going to get a heart piece. And that's going to get me up to, uh, is that 16 heart pieces? So for that one, um, it just takes time. Uh, there's rupees all over Termina Field. Um, especially as you get the giant wallet, which is over in the Skatola house on the Great Bay. You can hold 500 rupees at once. Um, it makes it a lot easier. Even just over in uh, the other side of Clocktown, um, above the Honey and Darling, uh, what is that, mini game, there's going to be 100 rupees. If you go towards the laboratory, there's another 100 rupees. Um, and there's a good amount just outside in Termina Field around ch in chess and stuff you can hook shot up to and... Uh, you know, uses the Zora. You can also drop off a uh, big Poe over here in uh, the Curiosity Shop and sell it to him. He'll give you 100 rupees for that. Um, so once you get 5,000 though in the bank, you should be good to go, um, and you'll get that heart piece. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, hopefully that was helpful.